Hello, my name is Carsten Hansen. This video uh, is created to give you an idea of what you can expect to see when you upgrade from the version 2014 to 2015, February 2015, for the DKT7 software. And if you're familiar with the old control surface, you can straight away see uh, some changes. First of all, in the meter section, you can see that I have two additional bars in a separate scale. I can show you two loudness, actually four loudness uh, values simultaneously. And you can also see that I have a surround sound signal here and two channel left, right, with an intermediate tone in the right hand channel. The tiny selectors here at the bottom can be used to define which of the uh, loudness set I want to route to the uh, Starfish Jellyfish tool. So when I click on that, you can see now this is a standard goniometer and the phase correlator will be driven from that pair. You can change that. I have a preset here that is demonstrating four sets. You can see this is four sets of loudness. And you see, if I want to look at the loudness set 1, 2, 3, and 4, I simply click on the keys. But I can also show you simultaneously loudness sets on bars or on readouts, or simultaneously. So if I click on the, um, on the bar, you can see I can select between momentary, short term, and integrating uh, for the bar and uh, you can have them adjacent to each other like I'm doing here or you can have a pair momentary short term you can build it exactly the way you want the way you want also one of the things that you may notice while I was here in my preset that you have this additional key saving is no longer automatic you have to press the key to save the preset. So every time you do changes and you want to uh, the system to memorize it, you have to press the save. That's quite a different thing. You can put the save key also on a dedicated key on your key panel if you want. I have an empty panel here. I right click here and you can see some new keys has been added uh, to the uh, key assignment list. One of the keys are save key, so now this will work. So if I press the save key, you can see the icon is shortly flashing. In the uh, list, you can also see a factory reset. So if I press the factory reset, which I will not do here, I will recall the preset that is saved in the memory. So you can always go back to a known condition. It's a possibility for you to save your own factory reset. So uh, in an environment you can always press the factory reset and you will get it back to a known condition. Also a neat feature, a standby feature is available. So if you have pressed the standby, the system will go into sleep. Now the system is in sleep and if I touch the screen your logo will come back on and the system. In the sleep mode the power consumption is low, the LED uh, backlight system is turned off so it's really hibernating. Remember to save it before because it will be recalled the preset uh, when it uh, records from uh, standby. You can also see that I have some additional features for uh, you can emulate right click if you don't if you're not using a mouse like I'm doing here and you find it too narrow you can double click on that you have s you can set start and stop time for locking capture but all these things you can find in other in other videos uh, where you can find a detailed explanation on how to use this set set the start and stop time for locking So, going back to the control service, 
one of the things you can also see is that I will switch back to the uh, last number key is that we have introduced multi-touch now which you cannot see I'm taking two fingers and uh, I put that uh, right on top of the uh, uh, vertical key panel and I slide it to the right and you can see I actually made the keys to go away and you can see the text line change size we have added more lines to in this readout field and you have functions like that you can add a uh, separation line you can change the font size yourself so you can see if I click here you have a total of 16 lines and if I want to for instance change uh, this text size you can see I have a number here if I click on the number you can see now I change it to size 3, size 4 and size 1. I also have the ability it's able to put in user text. If I scroll down the list you can see I can put user text line. Again I can change the size. I want this to be larger the user text. And if I right click I can call up the editor. I use my two fingers again to slide the panel back and uh, you can see I can backspace the text and I can save it as my own user text so you can make a decoration what you want so if you are running with multiple loudness set you can say a loudness set 1 integrating loudness set 2 whatever meaningful uh, you find so I quit that so if I slide it back, you are using another set of uh, text lines. So you can still modify the text lines individually for both, you can say in the limited list or in the short, in the long list. One of the things that is also quite distinct different is that in this software, you can control all the input output ports yourself click on the right thing you open the matrix assignment folder and you can see there are more folders to be found here the meter folder that is pretty standard you have the analog output so you can control the analog output the source you want to route to the analog output yourself you can control the source you want to route to the digital output so if I want to use the DKG7 as a D embedder I can use from the uh, from the uh, SDI left channel to the first AES so I can shuffle channels and I can take from analog input to AES output in total I have a 256 by 256 router inside. We are not utilizing all the inputs uh, in this router yet, but there will be many more functions available in the future. Similar you can do for the HDMI. You can you have a total of eight uh, a total of eight outputs in the HDMI and you can control the uh, each speaker the way you can use the internal down mixer to down mix so if you have a sound 5 plus 1 so you can down mix and bring it out as a stereo signal on the HDMI to a television set so you can see there's a lot of things for you to uh, play with this is just an introduction movie uh, there are more movies uh, to be found uh, on our homepage dedicated uh, for uh, individual functions to learn you how to set up uh, passwords how to do all these things uh, and uh, the only thing I can say is that I wish you fun we are proud with this new software we are sure this is the best we have ever done and uh, please any comments uh, back to our support line thank you uh, there you go, uh, I nearly uh, forgot the most important thing. Uh, the, um, the text, the uh, your channel editor has been changed quite a bit in this new software. It's easy to insert and delete channels. 
let me give you take the example if I want to insert a uh, LED channel here next to uh, between the center and the uh, left uh, surround rear I simply right click on the bar and you can see the uh, channels will open up and I can simply go down and select the LED channels uh, and I can do the same thing if I want to delete channels I simply click on the, s uh, on the channel and the channel will go away so it's very easy to change because the, the colors the bar graph the spacing everything will be will move along as you insert and uh, and delete channels